morning, Abotai. On the first night of Sukkot, there is a positive Torah commandment to eat a kazait of bread inside the sukkah, uh, preferably within four to five minutes. If not within four to five, then within seven and a half minutes, a person still yotze. Very similar to the mitzvah of eating matzah. Belil Pesach, uh, we have the same mitzvah to eat bread in the sukkah, belil sukkot. So just like any other mitzvah of achila, there's a time frame, like we said, it's called toch kedeh achilat pras, preferably within four to five minutes, and if not, within at least, uh, meaning at most, seven and a half. That is with regards to uh, the kazait of bread. Maran Zechon Barachah brings down that there are several poskim that say that a person should try to even eat a kabeza, which is double a kazait, instead of 27 grams, 54 grams, also within eight minutes, it's not a tremendous amount. A person can, that would be mitzvah min mufhar, that would be the most preferable way to perform the mitzvah. And there's an interesting halakha that applies to sukkah that doesn't apply to any other mitzvah, which is that mitzta'ir patur min sukkah, person who is uncomfortable, person who is inconvenienced as a result of the sukkah, he is patur. The Chachamim learned it out from the word, the Torah tells us, basukot teshevu shivat yamim shall dwell in the sukkah. The Chachamim derived from here, teshevu ki'ain taduru. You should dwell in the sukkah during sukkot as you do in your house during the rest of the year. Just like in your house the rest of the year, if there was something that would really make you uncomfortable, you would leave the house, or you would leave that room at least, you can also leave the sukkah as a result of something that's making you subjectively uncomfortable. Therefore, um, if there is a tremendously unpleasant smell in the sukkah, if there's a, 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 a lot of bugs in the sukkah, or if it's raining into the sukkah that a person becomes uncomfortable, he is patur from the sukkah. Now, the question becomes, does this exemption of mitzta'ir, of a person who's uncomfortable, apply on the first night of Sukkot or not? According to the Rambam and Marana Shulchan Aruch, there's no difference between the first night of Sukkot and any other, even though on the first night of Sukkot there's mitzvah minat Torah to eat bread in the Sukkah. If it's raining or if a person is terribly uncomfortable in the Sukkah, he is patur, even on the first night, he need not wait. The Rosh and others disagree. They say, no, on the first night of Sukkot, even if a person's uncomfortable, you still have to eat in the sukkah. Some poskim Ashkenazim rule in accordance with the Rosh, but like we said, according to Maran, the halacha is that if you're uncomfortable, if it's raining in the sukkah on the first night, you would still be patur. It's unfortunate, but you would still be patur. Based on this halacha, the Mishnah Berura in Siman Tafresh Mem brings down, if it's cold during sukkot, especially in, you know, in, in America, whatever it is, it can get pretty chilly during the nights of sukkot, and a person goes out, and it's cold for him. Person's mamash, really cold. Person should make sure to bundle up, wear a coat, wear a scarf, make himself comfortable. Because if a person is sitting in the sukkah and he's cold and really uncomfortable as a result of the cold, he is not yotzeh the mitzvah. And if he made the bracha v'lishev basukkah, the bracha is levatala. So if you're sitting there and it's cold, you better make sure you're warm. You better make sure that you're comfortable in the sukkah. Some people bring in heaters, that's a different story, but whatever you have to do, make yourself comfortable to, to do the mitzvah. Adkan.